At New York City's Lincoln Center, the convergence of designers, models, and movie stars could only mean one thing. The 2010 CFDA Awards were taking place. The event is also popularly thought of as the American fashion industry's Oscar night. This is our Academy Awards. It's the Oscars of fashion. It's nothing can compare, you know. And everyone had an award-winning date. Happy to be with Gwyneth and just have a great time. Very well tonight because we're with Lara here. Lara is a new face of Calvin Klein, as you know. I came with Hayden Christensen, um, who couldn't be a better person to dress and uh, be amused for the lines. I'm with Alexis Vitar. He's my date, and he's up for an award, and we're cheering him on. Her cheers must have worked. Alexis Vitar won the award for Accessory Designer of the Year. I've been, you know, in business for 15 years at least. So after 15 years, you feel like you're recognized. It's a great feeling. The stylishly influential model and entrepreneur, Iman, received the Fashion Icon Award, which gave her license to tease her rock legend husband, David Bowie. I said in my speech tonight that uh, I have finally the right to say to him, move over, you're not the only icon in the house. <laughs> so there you are, we have two icons in this house. <laughs> King of American Classics, Michael Kors, was the recipient of the Jeffrey Bean Lifetime Achievement Award for nearly three decades of timeless designs. The simple truth is, it, it is amazing when I think about it. Starting at 21, I really had no clue that three decades would fly this quick. Michael's classic American style, you know, it's beautiful, beautifully constructed, easy to wear, elegant, never overdone. It is with honor and great regret that I speak briefly tonight of the career and artistic achievement of the late, great Alexander McQueen. The late Alexander McQueen was honored with a Board of Directors Special Tribute Award, and a live staging of his final collection underscored the fashion world's irreplaceable loss. God speedily. It has been a privilege for all of us to know your work and you. You will be indescribably missed. Continuing their support of emerging talent, the Swarovski Award went to Richard Chai for menswear. Alexander Wang was given the accessory nod, and the winner for women's wear was Jason Wu. She's very pretty. I'm going to dress her later tonight. <laughs> Donna Karen was on hand to celebrate her former employee, Christopher Bailey, with the International Award for his exceptional work at the British House of Burberry. I started my career here in New York, uh, I don't know, 12, 15 years ago, and I, I just could never have imagined these years later walking down this carpet thinking that I'm going to go home with an award, so kind of mind-blowing. So he came and he worked for um, the design room and I never wanted him to leave. And the Men's Wear Designer of the Year is... Marcus Wayne White and David Novell for Rag and Bones. And I thought he said Michael Bastion, to be honest. I had my... Yeah, you hope. You're like, you're like come on, you say the words. <laughs> we brag, Marcus, David, anything. Start with that and we're good. The stunning Jessica Biel bestowed the always humble Mark Jacobs with the statuette for Women's Wear Designer of the Year. I thought that if this was to be our lucky night after, I think it's four years of being nominated for this award, that I'd give it a... A, a bit of a different uh, spin. So I'll use this opportunity to publicly thank all the people involved for making our company what it is. It's important for America to celebrate the glamour of fashion. At a time when things are so difficult, to be able to celebrate creativity is really an honor. 